use the commutative law of addition. Let me underline that. The commutative law of addition to write the expression 5 plus 8 plus 5 in a different way and then find the sum. Now, this commutative law of addition sounds like a very fancy thing, but all it means is if you're just adding a bunch of numbers, it doesn't matter what order you add the numbers in. So we could add it as 5 plus 8 plus 5. We could order it as 5 plus 5 plus 8. We could order it 8 plus 5 plus 5. These are all going to add up to the same things. And it makes sense. If I have 5 of something, and then I add 8 more, and then I add 5 more, I'm going to get the same thing as if I had took 5 of something, then added the 5, then added the 8. And you could try all of these out. You'll get the same thing. Now, they say in a different way, and then find the sum. The easiest one to find the sum of, actually, let's do it all of them. But the easiest one, just because a lot of people immediately know that 5 plus 5 is 10, is to maybe start with the 5 plus 5. So if you have 5 plus 5, that's 10, plus 8 is equal to 18. Now let's verify that these two are the same exact thing. Up here, 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 plus 5 is also 18. That is also 18. If we go down here, 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 plus 5 is also equal to 18. So no matter how you do it, no matter what order you do it in, and that's the commutative law of addition. Sounds very fancy, but it just means that order doesn't matter if you're adding a bunch of things.